Morning folks. Welcome back to the greenhouse. Uh, a little project on the go today. See, when I built the greenhouse, I forgot about something. All these plants need water. <laughs> and uh, to be honest, it's been a bit of a nightmare trying to get enough water. Uh, you know, I fill up me... Uh, I used to go in and fill up my little watering can. That holds uh, three gallons. Not enough. Today, we're going to install a hose bib. Came to me the other day, my hot water tank gave out. It started leaking. <coughs> so when I had the old PEX tools out, I started uh, thinking, why don't I just run a line? My basement's unfinished. No trouble to run it on the joist. So run a line out. I put a hose bib in her. A pet cock. I put my pet cock out here now. So that's what we're going to do today. First thing we got to do is figure out where we're going to put it. Uh, and I guess that'll be just like everything else. I'll just stand back, look at it, size up where it should be, and then put it in a totally different place. Let's size it up. See where we're going to put it. So here's what we're dealing with. Uh, so it's got to go above that 2x10 beam there and into the siding somewhere. I'm not sure. Inside it doesn't really matter. I want to be able to get access to it. I don't want a pile of plants in the way. And I'm planning on putting a shelf there as well on that beam. So I don't want to be in the way of that. Oh my. Tricky, tricky. See what we can come up with. Okay, so we're in the basement now. And I'm thinking I'm going to run that line right along that beam. Out through here. The electrical goes out through there. So I think I'm going to go right tight to that beam. I'm going to go... I'm going to go right along here. And right straight out through. Okay. So I got my trusty ladder set up and uh, we're just going to get up there and poke around and see what we can find. So here we are up in the joist, uh, you, can see where the, you can see where the wire comes out. So we're just going to measure across and uh, see how far over from that electrical wire we got to come. Okay, so we got to figure it out. Uh, we're going to go over 14 inches from where the wire comes in and we got enough room we can get this we can get that spigot up uh, about four and a half five inches from the height of the wire i want that up as high as i can because i'm planning on putting the shelves here so yeah everybody knows what the measuring tape is so 14 inches i open opened that up i suppose it might work better <laughs> Uh, 14 inches, there's my wire, so right around there, and the wire is, uh, the wire is four, so we're going to go up eight, we go up eight inches from that wire, or we go up eight inches from that beam and we're good, right, the wire is four, and we got enough room to go up four, that's eight, right, four, four is eight, you know what an eight is, an eight, back. you know what an eight is, it's a zero with a belt on. So eight inches. And eight. It's an eight bat. X marks the spot. Okay, we got our spot. And uh, that leaf is right in the way, of course. That's right in the way. What are we going to do with that leaf? Let's poke them down there at the way. Oh, I broke them. Yeah, anyway, that's it. That's all you can do. Poke that up out of the way. Try not to kill our grapevine. And... Yeah. Here we go. Hot. 
Atamale. There yeah, we're through, look. Another hole inside the house. Look, like a glove. You wouldn't know what it grew there, huh? No. I'm going to put a... I'm going to cut a 2x4 now to go across there and drill a hole in that. And I'm going to mount that in here. And I'm going to plug up that... I'm going to plug up that hole with something that's too big, but I had to make it... Had to make it big for that big knob on the end of it, see? That inch and an eight. So I got to measure now and cut a piece of 2 before for there. Yeah. Me poor little... Oh, I killed them, la. I killed me leaf. So we need a piece of 2 before 22. 22 and 3 eight. So, let's go to the scrap pile. I usually have lots of uh, concrete business. He ends up with a lot of this stuff. So, let's see if we can find a piece. Long enough. There you go, look. Perfect. Piece of pressure treat. Factory in. Perfect. Go cut him off. 22 and 3 eight. Womanized, look. Womanizer, the womanizer. Into the shed with me. <clears throat> He'll do the job. Hey, right, what do we need? 22 and 3 8, right? There we got our piece cut, let's go put them in. Yeah, he's a bit of a tight squeeze, so I'm gonna have to use uh, Mr. Persuader here. So we dart that in, we gotta give that a few tap taps, get it in there now. We're gonna be high enough, yes sir. There we go, put it up the same height as that, what do you have? I want to put a uh, well, this in there, and I think we get a few screws in. So ten and three quarter, just like that. No big deal. There, there's our hole. Right, right on. All right, get a couple of screws in that now. Up in there, you watch out for the electrical. You could have a shocking experience. So. You don't need to level nothing up. We're not building a piano here. Here you go. Yeah, one side. The other side. Just using uh, three inch thick screws there. That'll hold it. We're going over. That'll hold that little spigot. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta drill another hole. Right? Right on. We already got that marked. There's lots of wiggle around there. Look, leaves. Look at the leaves. There you get that out of the way. There you can see me. Now we drill another hole. Smell by loves that. Yeah, we got a hole. There's a hole in the house. They're foggy, they're foggy. There's a hole in the house. They're foggy, a hole. My lord, jeez, look. 
Isn't that something? Beautiful. Now, I gotta go get a load of wood now. So we, we shall continue when I get back. He's chopping it up for me right now. I don't usually buy wood, but this winter I've been that frigged up. If you couldn't get into woods, I caught a bit of wood. Anyway, there we are. Spend the youngster's inheritance now on a bit of old birch. Yeah, now, a fine load of birch. Birchy, birchy, birch. Here's our cold. We're gonna we're gonna tee into that now. Put into that uh, <coughs> I get the valve. I get the valve and the pump turned off, so there's no pressure in the lines, but there's still drop water, so we're gonna have to catch it. So I don't get it down the back of my neck. Let's cut into it, see what happens. What's the worst that can happen? Uh-huh. Let's find it. And a tea, where's our tea going? There, a cup of tea. Want a cup of tea? La, ah, there's a tea. Now we got to measure and get across there. So we need a piece of picks. And we need a piece of picks. 43 inches. Okay, we got our piece of picks, uh, 43 inches ish, 43 or so, and uh, now we got to run it through them holes. Gotta run you through. Walk like an angel. And there we go, we're through. Drop and crimper. I got three crimps to make. Now we're teed in. Now we got two crimps to make there. Make the corner. And then we're gonna run it along. Run it along that joist till we get to the beam and then we're gonna turn the corner again towards the greenhouse. I don't need to show you all that. So we got our connection made. We got our we got our uh, water line to the greenhouse teed in to the main uh, cold side. And we're going through those joists 
onto this one and uh, 90. We've gone along the joist to the other side of this air beam. And we've gone through into the wood room. Now, now it's just a straight run all the way along the beam. But there's your, uh, this is where she comes through the joist. And it runs right along there, out to the greenhouse. I had a little problem here, I couldn't get my crimpers up. I couldn't get my crimpers in there. So we had to crimp that, put a little 90 down around the joist. So we got them all crimped up, I think. Double check, he crimped, he crimped. We find out what's crimped and what's not now in a second. <laughs> We got the pump turned back on, the valve. So let's go out to the greenhouse now and see if we got any water out there. While I was at uh, while I was out getting me uh, wood, I stopped into the hardware store. Got a few uh what do you call them? Two gallon pots. I'm gonna call them two gallon pots. And I got a couple of these nifty nifty quick connects. Yeah, and little short holes, little 10 foot long holes or something. Let's go in and try them out. So we've got our fancy uh, quick disconnects uh, on there now. We've got our little 10 foot holes, however long it is. So, so let's turn the noozle. Turn the news, we'll see what we got. We got water. Oh, this is nice. My plants are gonna love me for this. Dirty now. The holes are dirty. Anyway, we got some water in the greenhouse. Well, another adventure ended on Foggy Lane Garden. <laughs> uh, we got some water in here now. That's going to make things a lot easier and make it way more enjoyable to come out here now. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you found it. Uh, hope you found it informative. Informative. Nah. I ran a bit of pecs and put in a silly cock. Thanks for coming by. Make sure to like. Make sure to subscribe. Subscribe. Like. Share a video with your friends. Like, subscribe. And uh, I guess I'll see you next time I look at you.